Well, here's a, another report I'm going to make available to the public. And you see it in the uh, description below on uh, YouTube. And if I get it at, up to <laughs> Instagram, and I have trouble putting it on uh, TikTok. So uh, I'm on those pro, uh, platforms now, but uh, putting these big reports on there is a little difficult. But I'll figure it out. But if you want to really get it, come on over to the U YouTube and you can see it there. And th these are programs that will help you go away with your debt. I mean, forgiveness programs. I mean, people don't realize the government, Biden, made so many forgiveness programs so you don't be in debt anymore and you can go out and do something new instead of trying to dig out something old. Yeah, that's what life is about, man. Creating new stuff, creating new information, creating new, new helping other people, you know, new. So these are the programs I have. Like here, now, uh, student loan. I mean, everybody's got student loan debt. You have to, have to, have to go to studentaid.gov. And there's two things you want to look under there, loan payments and loan forgiveness. This is where people are getting $100,000 forgiving, forgiven at a blink of an eye. <laughs> and they're changing it every day. You know, so you got to get there and talk to the people on that. If you go down to contact us there, you talk to them about your, your uh, thing. I mean, people missed it. Like when they first started out with these, even if you had the, a loan for something else and, and another bank, you could have switched it to here. And I think that ended like in April or May. So it, it, it's, you, you got to act. And if you wait for something or something perfect, no, you have a problem. You got to dig into it and find and see stuff. You'll see it. it's like panning for gold. Okay. So that's just one thing. So that's studentaid.gov and a hundred thousand dollars is nothing. People, I talked to a person yesterday, $300,000. So you can get all that done. Okay. But there are various programs and there's about an, um, seven, eight, 10, 12 programs. Uh, that, so you want to find out which one is for you. So don't stop until you learn it all. Okay. Number two. Uh, <laughs> now listen, this is where they're giving loans that are forgiven if you start a business. That's right. It's a loan, but if you, if you, <laughs> you like here, Madison, Wisconsin, giving a loan a quarter of a million dollars to buy a business, a quarter of a million dollars, buy a business. You don't have to pay it, any of it back if you stay there 15 years. So that's it. So this is going to be a long time. They just want you flipping things and, and, and things like that. So it's important. A quarter of a million dollars. You're not going to pay it back. <laughs> wow. Who else is going to give you that? Chase? <laughs> uh, any of the banks? No, never. Never do that. So that's why the government's terrific stuff. You never. Well, here. How about this? Uh, you, you ask for the government for a $50,000 grant. <laughs> <laughs> like to pay rent or something, they say no. Well, all you have to do is write a letter to see if they change their mind. <laughs> and we have a member that's doing this on Let's Go Help, and she's helping people write these letters. 50% of the letters she gets uh, written by the members uh, get their money. And people like $40,000, $50,000 after the government said no, they get it. Now, every government program, it's just unemployment's the same way. If they say no, 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 don't say no. <laughs> or even, don't take no for an answer, except in sexual harassment, right? Okay, uh, so you, you want to do that. Always, uh, because it doesn't hurt. Um, <laughs> it's important that you do, because that's what all of life is, is playing the numbers game. <laughs> Not, you can't take it personal, because it's all robots making decisions anyway. And so it goes to another set of robots that look at something different. And and and, and 50%, <laughs> wow, that's incredible to me. Okay, so that that's um, the, the grant. 90%, you can get 90% of your taxes forgiven. That's right. There's a member in our uh, at Let's Go Help, uh, and she did that. She owed fifty grand and, and fill out this form. Uh, it's called Offer in Compromise, <laughs> and she got ninety percent of it uh, forgiven. See, Biden's forgiven. Government is a much nicer human being to get money from. <laughs> and it's not like the uh, people from Wall Street, you know, they come out and break your kneecaps if you don't pay them. You know? No, there's always an option with government money. That's why you want to go there first. They're nicer people to deal with. Okay, and your state taxes are the same thing. Every state, now I got a link here in the report how uh, Maryland has this, and every most every state. So you ask them, you go to your state office that collects the revenue, ask if they have a forgiven and compromise, 
But if they don't say, okay, well, what about a, uh, you know, you have a, a desperate situation that you can't, they all have to have some program like that, but they're not gonna tell you. So you have to dig in the weeds. And if that doesn't work, then what you do is you call your elected official. You go to commoncause.org, call your elected officials and say, hey, I can't pay these taxes, can you help me? And that's what their job is, to help you <laughs> do this. And sure, you're gonna be idiots and assholes and, and hang up on you or whatever, that's the name of the game. You just go and call somebody else. You got 20 elected officials probably where you are that all have that power to do that. <clears throat> okay, here's here's a nonprofit organizations that pay your copay. <gasps> I go into the doctor. I mean, a copay three thousand dollars or whatever forgiveness or all this kind of stuff. All of a sudden, I didn't know I had to pay that. Okay, there's nonprofit organizations that help you pay that. That's right. <laughs> Don't carry the debt. Get rid of the debt. Okay, uh, one of them is patientadvocate.org patientadvocate.org. If you go to that place, they'll even show you other nonprofits. And here's another neat thing to pay for. Medical bills, you need dental help, uh, all kind of medical or dental or, or mental care uh, is needymeds.org, needymeds.org. Well, here's a more important thing. You realize 70% of the people who walk out of a hospital with a big bill, $100,000 or even $10,000 or more, <laughs> don't have to pay it and they don't know. The hospital doesn't tell them. <laughs> Only about 29% of the people who, who are eligible for a program not to pay for the hospital bills are taking advantage of it. That means 70% of the people who are eligible for this are not taking advantage of it because the hospital doesn't tell you. Now, whose fault is that? Well, I think it's the hospitals, but it's your fault too. <laughs> you gotta know about this stuff and you have to ask. They're not gonna, oh, 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 wait, wait, I forgot to tell you, you don't have to pay. <laughs> I've never seen that. Anybody chase me out of a store doing that, right? And so they're not gonna chase you out of the hospital doing that either. Or even things like DMV tickets. You get all these tickets, whatever, and if you get a whole shitload of tickets and then they're gonna take your a license away and things like that, you can't do that, then you can't uh, pay your bill and do all this kind of stuff. Well, stop that. You can't. And, and, and call the DMV and see what kind of hardship programs they have. If they don't or they don't want to talk to you, then again, call your elected official. They could call the back door office and, and, and get some kind of justice for you. I mean, you, you don't have a guarantee that it's going to wipe it all, but you, you have a guarantee nothing will happen if you do nothing. <laughs> if you do something, then something will happen. <laughs> Most likely, not positively. There's no positivities in life. But the only thing that's positive in life, nothing. If you do nothing, you get nothing. And here's lots of things you could do to solve the problem. Okay, and it's the same way they give you owed money, you know, like on a government loan to HUD or SBA or stuff like that. They understand hardship because the government's hardship. <laughs> and so you talk to them about it. If they don't have a hardship program, call your elected official. Well, here, there's a lot of forgivable loans for buying a house. Right. Now, here's a, here's a program in D.C. They have $200,000 to buy a house, and it's not due until you sell the home. There's no interest. You don't pay any payments. You got $200,000. No interest uh, accruing, no payments, and you don't have to worry about until you su uh, sell the house. So you're there 30 years, and it's going to increase more than $200,000, right? and have a nice place to live, okay? <laughs> so that's what it's all about, knowing about those things. And here's the best thing that I show you here. If you go to findhelp.org and you go to government applications, put in your zip code, then put in government applications, and you'll see, at least where I live, there's two, 522 organizations that help you with government application. You don't have to pay me $20. No, <laughs> it does them for free. <laughs> but if you really want to uh, throw us money, I'll catch it. And that's letsgohelp.com. And we have lovable people that help each other uh, and try to solve financial problems in their lives with all these free programs that people don't know about. And so it's our job to try to make sure everybody knows about these programs. And the members help members. We have experts, grant experts, that, that are live with like two, three, four hours a day now. We have people live that you could just tune in and ask your question and find other people how they get uh, theirs answered and, uh, from experts who do this all the time. 
I mean, they, they've changed their life so much doing this that they want to share it for free. And we give us stipends, but it's not a, a living. Uh, it's just to show our appreciation and they get their appreciation by giving their heart and helping other people. And that's what Let's Go Help is all about because that's all I want to do until I die is help as many people as I can before I die. There's nothing better in life to do. Man, <laughs> I am the happiest man in the world right now uh, because of doing this and I see other people uh, helping people and that's all we do. And uh, I love doing it and I'll do it until I'm called away and eventually we're all out of here sometime, right? So let me help you and try to love you as much as I can before I die. How's that? Now that sounds stupid and I would have made fun of anybody who said that years ago, but now I really believe it. So let me try to help you too.